Breaking, Loretta Lynch is going down. Look what's happening to her after sick things she was caught doing. Members of the House of Representatives are officially calling for an investigation to be placed on former Attorney General Loretta Lynch and her interference into the investigation in Clinton's email scandal from 2016. Specifically, her involvement when she spoke with President Clinton on an airplane tarmac in Phoenix, Arizona. There is certainly a parallel with the three investigations into the President's ties to Russia, government officials, and their influence in the 2016 presidential election except both the House of Representatives, Senate, and Federal Bureau of Investigation are all investigating the President's ties to Russia while nobody is investigating Loretta Lynch and her alleged misconduct. The issue came back to the media headlines after former FBI Director James Comey testified before the Senate and House of Representatives and indicated that Loretta Lynch had asked him to refer to the Clinton investigation as a matter and not an investigation, something which was not previously made known uh, as public information. The former FBI director said the following while testifying before the Senate. The Attorney General has directed me not to call it an investigation, but instead to call it a matter, which confused me and concerned me. That was one of the bricks in the low that led me to conclude I have to step away from the department if we're too close uh, to close this case credibly. The Clinton campaign at the time was using all kinds of euphemisms, security review matters, things like that for what was going on. We were getting to a place where the Attorney General and I were both going to have to testify and talk publicly about and I wanted to know what she was going to authorize us to confirm and we uh, we had an investigation and she said yes but don't call it that call it a matter and I said why would I do that and she said just call it a matter that was the thing that capped it for me that I had to do something separately to protect the credibility of the investigation which meant both the FBI and the Justice Department. Neither the Clintons, uh, President Obama, or Loretta Lynch herself have made comments to the media about these recent developments, which isn't new, surprising, because guilty people always like to take the fifth, if at all possible. Not only are Lynch's crimes and misconduct in the past, but they are a thing of the present as well shortly before the congressional baseball game practice that left five people injured, two of which were members of Congress, the former Attorney General released a video where she called for people to resist the President and what she said is definitely not kosher. Loretta Lynch makes disturbing video, absolutely. I know that this is a time of great fear and uncertainty for so many people. I know it's a time of concern for people who see our rights being assailed, being trampled on, and even being rolled back. I know that this is difficult, but I remind you that this has never been easy. We have always had to work to move this country forward to achieve the great ideals of our founding fathers. And it has been people, individuals, who have banded together, ordinary people, who simply saw what needed to be done and came together and supported those ideals who have made the difference. They've marched, they've bled. Yes, some of them have died. This is hard. Every good thing is. We have done this before, we can do this again. The monkey in charge, right? The monkey. In a video released earlier in the week, Loretta Lynch said the following, which I'm not going to repeat now. Senator Tim Kaine publicly public outcry will help Democrats do their job better. The clown of the century. 
Oh, I'm not listening to all of that. Johnny, that's fine. Oh, geez. instead of by the agencies and, and cabinet departments that are subject to congressional oversight. The White House has gotten badly burned in this because they didn't pay attention to the people who knew what they were doing, and they listened to folks who approach everything as just as if it's just another political game rather than people's lives are at stake. So, um, broad question about the future of the Democratic Party, especially mm -hmm. given your first-hand experience with uh, what we've all been through. Mm -hmm. There's so much going on here that we clearly see, you know, places where you we can criticize what the administration is doing. But how does the party rebuild? How do you prevent overreach in a situation like this? How do you prevent a continuation of the bubble? in a situation like this? And how does the party reclaim its reach across the country while fighting these battles? Um, well, let me talk about continuation of the bubble, Mika. This is something I'm so excited about. I, I saw that uh, Howard Dween, uh, Dean tweeted at me the other day, Tim, the base is getting ahead of the leaders. That's exactly backward. Mm -hmm. We are so excited that the American public is energized to speak out against the abuses of this administration. Uh, Democratic senators led health care. Uh, 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 empty, empty um, places where they spoke. The places were empty, but he was calling, I've seen a... The executive orders. I've come out in opposition to the... Te I've seen a small clip where he was calling for violence. I don't know why they, they put this long-ended uh, thing. But it boils down to they actually were calling for violence. Both Loretta Lynch, Tim Kaine, uh, Maxine Waters, um, and Hillary Clinton, uh, now Obama with his new group. So in other words, um, and that's why they're opposing uh, Trump so much, but because Trump is going to get to the bottom of this and they work for the deep state that's protecting them and the MSNBC is being paid by Soros and the deep state, which is the deep state. Let us know what you think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.